Hey designers, welcome to the channel. This video is gonna be action packed and informational if you are thinking about becoming a Squarespace designer. These are the questions I have gotten hundreds of times on the YouTube channel and in my community from people who are asking, how do you do these first steps? And these are the key things you're gonna need to know to get started, to do it right, and to get the most value, and to speed you up your process as you begin. So I'm really excited to get into this. We're gonna go through a lot of details about how to get your account set up with Squarespace, becoming a Circle member, why that matters, how to charge a client for a subscription with a two week trial. We're gonna talk about all that stuff. So get into it, let's get ready, let's dive in. All right, so you've made a decision to become a Squarespace designer, awesome. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to talk about is just creating your account with Squarespace. There's nothing fancy you need to do here. Sometimes people have questions on this. You don't need any special account. Other tools kind of have like separate accounts for designers. You don't need that here. You just create your regular Squarespace account. Just go sign up for a template or whatever. You'll use your email, create a password, log in. Very simple, straightforward process. Once you do that and you're in your account, you'll be able to create multiple websites in that account. So that gives you the access that you need to become a designer. Just like that, you can do it for free, you can do it right now, it'll literally take one minute. From there, the thing you're gonna wanna do is really hone in on becoming a Circle member. The way you become a Circle member is by having three active Squarespace subscriptions on your new account. So whether it's your portfolio website, a client website, or a friend's website that happens to be on Squarespace and they just give you admin access onto it, you just need to get three paid accounts. Your shortcut here is to find anyone you know that has a Squarespace account that's already paying for it and have them add you. Or you could join our community where we could do that for you because we have tons of designers in there who could help you get that set up and get you started. Definitely check out the community link down below. It's specifically for Squarespace designers, whether you're designing your first site or your hundredth site, it's gonna help you grow, scale, and get all your systems dialed so that you can have a, a profitable business that gives you freedom in your life so you can buy what you want, do what you need, and enjoy freedom of time. Now, once you have those three active sites on your account, I believe Squarespace will automatically send you an email that says, hey, you could apply to join Circle. You apply, you join automatically. There's no special trick here. They just don't automatically add you in, so you apply. But once you apply, you're automatically in. So you'll do that. If not, just go to squarespace.com. I believe it's forward slash circle. If it's not, it'll be linked down below. Uh, and you could go there and then apply and then you'll get in. So once you have the three active sites, boom, you are a circle member, you are good to go. The reason you need to become a circle member as soon as possible, this is the question I get all the time. How do I build a site for a client with a two week trial? Do I pay for it on my card and then put their card on it? Do I have the client pay for it? How do I rush the process? Do I do a two week trial and then like reactivate a new two week trial with like a duplicate site? How do I do this? Simplest way is just become a circle member. Like all the nuances of trying to like figure out the two week trial and payments is way too complicated when you're working with a client. Most projects are gonna take longer than two weeks. So you're gonna wanna become a circle member as soon as possible. And if you have the means to do it, I would just recommend go pay for three subscriptions, one of them being your portfolio website and then two other subscriptions at the base price per month and boom, just like that, you now have three active sites, you can become a circle member, you're good to go. You literally just got yourself started and now you have, anytime you start a website, you have a six month trial. Um, I've always thought about the idea of like, and if this video pops off, this might be, be something that we do, but I've always thought about the idea of if we help people get that six month trial because we are a circle member, especially on your first one or two websites. So if we have an option like that, we'll have a form down below. But for now, again, just get those three sites up you get the six month trial period versus two weeks and that will change everything in your workflow and your process, which is gonna lead us to the next part about payment and how you pay for the subscription and all of that, which we're gonna talk about now. Let's talk about Squarespace subscriptions. So you have a client who wants you to build a website, you build the website, but who pays for the subscription? Often I get asked this question, do I put the subscription in my price or is it separate or how does that work? 
clients very much know, uh, and I say for the most part because some might not, but for the most part know that the website hosting is gonna be a separate fee from your design services. So if you charge $500 or $5,000, whatever that might be, the client knows or they'll ask, is there additional fees involved? Which you'll let them know, yes, you'll have to pay for the website hosting through Squarespace, but lucky for you, because I'm a Circle member, I also get an additional 20% off when you start your subscription with me as your designer. It's a great selling point right there. But overall, this is a really important note that you never put your credit card information, or I'll say it this way, I recommend you never put your credit card information into a client account because by the time you give them ownership, if they take you off and they still have access to that card information, which again, shouldn't happen, but if it did, you would have no way of removing your credit card information from that account, which just complicates your life. I have built over 200 websites, have touched over a thousand, have worked with literally loads of clients, and I have never once put my credit card or any of my bank information on a client account never once and every single one of those projects has been successful and so i recommend that to you that you always consider the subscription separate from your fees and that you never put your credit card in for the client and again if you're doing this two-week trial period and you're not a circle member yet you are in a tight position because a two-week trial is not enough time to build a website and there's no real fancy way around it so Become a Circle member as soon as possible, get the six month trial, and you also get an additional 20% off the first year for your client site if they pay for the yearly subscription, which is an awesome benefit as well. And if I could describe to you the amount of questions I've gotten on the things we've talked about so far in this video, it is mind boggling. These details will really help you understand how to get started with becoming a Squarespace designer. Now, obviously you need packages, you need to set up your system, your portfolio, how you work with a client, all of that is still part of this. But if you get these pieces set that I've just talked through, you're gonna be off to the races and you're gonna have clarity of mind when you start working with a client on how you're gonna deal with these aspects. Now, there's a lot I could recommend on these topics of packages, your portfolio and all of that. I have a ton of resources down in my Gumroad link down below, so check that out. And again, if you haven't joined our community and you wanna become a Squarespace designer, don't do it alone. Doing it alone is going to guarantee that it is going to be a difficult process. Um, I wish I had this when I started and now you have the opportunity to have it. So I definitely recommend checking it out down below. If you're looking to set up your process, your website build process, I have a video linked up here that you can use and reference to build your process from start to finish on how you work with a client. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.